Hey kids, welcome to your NNL Regionals course. This is your rules walkthrough. Uh, remember, you must have your mask on. Uh, you can chalk it up ahead of time. You can have a certified coach come along with you. Uh, at the start, you will be given a boop, 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 boop. At that last beep, you're good to go. If you false start, you'll get one retry. If you false start twice, that's gonna be the end of your competition, but you can still try out the course as a fun run. If you fall anywhere on the course, you are guaranteed to move on until time runs out or until you complete the course. You're only going to be scored on your first fall, though. All right, guys, first obstacle. This is your starting platform. You're going to make your way across, feet only, across the gumdrops to the last one. Just kidding. You guys are going to start here. This is your starting platform. That is your landing platform. This is hands and feet only on the green. You have these four tires, these gumdrops, to end on this platform. Now, when you make contact with the platform, in order to complete the obstacle, you must do three things. You must touch the platform, you must disengage the previous obstacle, and you must pass the invisible plane that lines up in the front of it. Only after those three are completed, have you done the obstacle. Now this is also the starting platform for the next obstacle, so you cannot fall off of this platform. Any platform that is a starting and a finished platform, you must stay on or you will be disqualified. Allow me to give you an example. Clear. Keep in mind, these can wiggle, they are not attached, they can tip. Same thing with the gumdrops. They can slide and tip as well. For this obstacle, this is your starting platform, the tire. Your ending platform is not a platform, it is a touch point. You complete this obstacle when you make contact with your feet on that first white rail down at the end. This is a feet only obstacle. So no arms, no hands, no face, no red. We have a squishy teeter tire. It will tip all the way down. You may utilize the brown, not the blue. Blue is there. And complete the obstacle once you make contact here. Again, blue is bad. Blue is bad. Your next obstacle, once you make contact with this first rail, whoa, let me pay attention to you. Once you make contact with this white rail, you've uh, completed the obstacle previously, you can reset at any time. Now, you can use any of the white of the balance bars, again, feet only, to get to your landing platform. This is your landing platform, and again, it is the very front face. You have to cross this plane. You do not have to get all the way up here to complete the obstacle. Allow me to show you an example. So, you may use hands, feet, whatever you want to get from that platform onto the green. Now, the green tubes are hands and arms only. Torso is off limits. Use hands, fold on elbow, that's fine. Save yourself, come on back up. You may utilize any part of these guys that you want, hands and feet. Remember, anything that's circular are hands and arms only. You complete this obstacle when you make contact with the spider wall. It can be either side, any part of the spider wall will count. So, anything green, and this platform you may utilize to get to the spider wall, that is your touch point. For these tubes, the circular tubular pieces, it is hands, forearms only. So, nothing above the elbow, so falling into the armpit will be a DQ. Next obstacle, we've got the spider and the balance tank. You're starting. Uh, once you make contact with this, hands, feet, whatever you like, I am on the last part of the last obstacle. Again, hands, feet. Uh, so once I make contact, I can reset 
I may not touch the blue. Blue is bad. I can utilize hands, feet, whatever I want on the green balance tank. And I complete this obstacle. I reach that green landing platform at the end. Now, that is not the starting platform for the next obstacle. So, in order to clear that, you must again make contact with it. You must disengage the previous obstacle and you must pass that front plane. However, you may touch it and then continue on forward if you have momentum, off to the side, wherever you like, as long as those three are met, contact, disengage, and pass that front plane. Now, as you're going through, you'll see blue tape. It is highly suggested you stay below that blue tape in order to make your way past this obstacle. Clear. This bar is not in play. It will be removed for your run, so you don't have to worry about it. Remember, you have the spider wall, bounce beam, and landing platform. Uh, you're starting on this green platform. You may utilize this gun drop on the platform. It's part of your platform. If you want feet only, to get to the gumdrop, you may utilize this if you need to get up to it using anything you want on this mod box setup to get to this platform. I'll show you an example. Clear. Next obstacle, you're starting on this green platform. You're ending at this green platform. Now, it is not the starting platform for the next one. So, as long as you make contact with it, you pass that front plane, and you disengage that previous obstacle before you touch the ground past it, you've cleared the obstacle. Once you do that, you can get to the next starting block any way you want. This is a feet-only obstacle, only on the top surface of these BOSU balls, top blue surface of here, and the top green surface. I'll give you an example. Clear. Now, none of these are attached. They can wiggle, wobble, and flip on you. Your next obstacle, you're starting on this green platform. You've completed this obstacle when you get to this green platform. Now, this green block, that green block, they're in play, hands, feet, whatever you like. And the grim sweeper, hands only, any part of it you're allowed to utilize. The salmon ladder structure is off limits the entire time. This will spin all the way around and around. So if you decide not to let go, be aware there is a salmon ladder here. You may not use this at all to get yourself back to the start. That is off limits to get to the end. Oh no, I'm falling! Whoop. Hey. Hey kids, uh, for this obstacle you're starting on the green platform, ending on the blue platform. You may utilize the rope, hands, feet, whatever you want. This black pad is out of bounds. Scrape against it, it's an L's fine. You cannot use it or kick off it. I'll show you an example. Clear. Hey kids, welcome to your next obstacle. Starting on this blue platform. This is, this is two obstacles connected by a touch point. So you start on this blue pad and you end on this red pad. Now, this is not your starting platform, so you just have to make contact, pass the plane, and disengage the previous obstacle to complete it. Uh, we'll walk through the obstacles and you'll know where your touch point is. First obstacle, we got our skeleton. Start on this pad, hands, feet, whatever you want on the trampoline and the boxes. Hands only on the green rings. You may utilize the rings however you want. 
Same thing with the wooden rings, hands only. You've completed this obstacle when you make contact with the first black ring. Uh, again, the rings are hands only. You can use feet, whatever you want, on the wall to get there. Black ring is what connects it. Second obstacle, hands only on black rings or these green edges. Basically, hands are only allowed on this slanted face, if that's easier to think about. You're going to make your way until you make contact with this uh, platform, pass the plane, and disengage. These rings, not attached, they can slip, spin, and pop. So be ready for that. I'll show you an example. Yep. Clear. the top deck of the warp ball. That's your starting platform. You can climb up the ladder, the pole, you can run up the warp ball if you like. Now you may begin your obstacle. Now you can use green poles, silver ledges, bars, anything you want. Hands only on this green ledge. Everything here is hands and feet. Hands on the green ledge until you get to that blue platform down the way. I'll show you an example. Clear. All right, kids, last obstacle from this platform. You're going to the green platform, and that big tube, the top of that is your buzzer. Make sure you hit the top of that buzzer to stop your time to complete the course. You may utilize hands only, on this purple donut any way you want to get to that platform touch the buzzer i'll show you an example 